today we are going to understand how we are going to link uh, uh, different courier or shipping charges uh, for different products. So basically, I've got a Excel here, which has the product name, description, MRP, etc. And here is the courier charges. Okay. Courier charges within Gujarat and uh, courier charges within India. Uh, that is states within Gujarat. We've got hundred. That way, we've got uh, uh, many records uh, which are there. So uh, to just uh, quickly, you know, take you through this, uh, uh, there are like uh, three different uh, rates for for Gujarat, and uh, there are like uh, uh, four to five uh, different rates of outside India. Now, how exactly uh, do we do we have this in in the WooCommerce uh, shipping? Okay, so we're gonna look into that. But before that, uh, uh, what I've done is I've, I've grouped them into seven different groups uh, with the rates for Gujarat and uh, uh, outside of Gujarat. So that is uh, in India. Uh, so there are seven groups with different pricing for each. This is very important because unless uh, you do this, okay, you will not be able to set it up uh, properly in, in, in your WooCommerce merchant. Next, what I've done is I've, I'll go to the uh, shipping zones. I've created uh, two shipping zones here. One is uh, Gujarat and one is rest of India. Gujarat. Uh, now, uh, before before uh, proceeding further, I need to add different shipping classes. So I'll just click on the shipping classes. There I can uh, see I've I've added a uh, group one two three four five six seven. That's it's very simple. If you want to add a new shipping class, you just click on add shipping class, and you can add a new group. Group eight. You can leave the slug and description blank. If you want, you can add some description for your reference, and you just uh, click on save shipping class here. Uh, so I've got uh, eight groups now, but I don't need the eight ones. I'll just remove that uh, from here, and I'll just save the shipping class again. Uh, this is very important because, uh, uh, say, if you if you are getting a group eight, okay, for which you want to uh, charge uh, two hundred rupees within Gujarat and uh, four hundred rupees for rest of India. You can uh, you can do you can do that by including the a new shipping group here. So we have got group eight uh, seven groups for that. Now uh, we we are not entering any amount here because we will we'll have to do that in the shipping zone. Click on the uh, shipping zone. Uh, I'll go to Gujarat. I'll just edit Gujarat. Okay. Now I've got two options here. Uh, one is a free shipping, which I've disabled, and second is flat rate. So you're just, just gonna click on flat rate, edit flat rate, and uh, if we scroll down. Is it taxable? Uh, it's not taxable. So I'll just put that none. Cost would be zero. The cost of tax. Now uh, there are different groups here. You can see group one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And no shipping class cost. So for example, if you want to have a default fallback, you can have some amount entered here. But uh, since I don't want that, I I want to force uh, uh, the, the user to you know select a one of. Uh, uh, I want the your publisher to enter at least on one of the class by selecting the product. I'll not have any default fallback. It would be any. Uh, now what I've done here is uh, in Gujarat I've entered all the groups here. Uh, uh, group one is seventy, group two is hundred, group three is two hundred. I've entered all the rate. Group two, group three, group four. Uh, now uh, you may argue that uh, group two, three, and four. Uh, the rate is hundred only. So why why do have different groups here? Uh, but this is important because the combination is uh, uh, is different. Like for example, for a product you cannot select group two and group three simultaneously. You'll have to select the only group two. So 
in that case for India the rate would be different, right? Uh, so if you select India, the the, the cost will be one thirty, whereas the Gujarat it will be one hundred. Okay. So uh, that way we we have got uh, the seven groups which we have entered here, which I've already entered. I'll just save this thing. Uh, I'll just go back to the shipping zones. Now I'll, I'll be editing the rest of India. As again the fat rate is there. Okay, I'll just change the text here to none. I'm not changing on the shipping card. Now this one, two, three, four, okay, and five, six, seven. Uh, no, no shipping cards cost. It means we don't want to have a default call, right? Uh, so if you see again here, group five and group four have the same value, three hundred. However, since the combination for the graph is seven hundred and one fifty. That uh, uh, we we require to keep it that way. I'll save this. Now, how exactly to implement this uh, in the product? So I will just go to all products. Go to all products. Scroll down there. Okay. Here you can see something called as product data. Okay. Uh, so there is an option of shipping. Just below inventory, this is the shopping of the uh, shipping. Now, there is no shipping class uh, which has been added, but uh, uh, we can we can add a, a group of class uh, depending on uh, what what uh, uh, type of uh, charge you want to you know charge the customer. So I'll just select uh, group 1 just to show you an example and uh, so yes group 1 is uh, 70 for Gujarat and 150 for India. And I'll just update uh, 